It's now Wednesday the 24th of August and in the other video where I was showing Uzak I also pointed out a cell that I'd made that was flashing away and it had been flashing away for about a week. Well this cell has just carried on and it appears to be taking the moisture from the air. Oh that's interesting. <laughs> what happened there? Got all paranormal on me. That's strange. Anyway, I have to put the battery on top again like you've just seen to um, create some pressure on the cell and also to keep the lead in place and the cell started up again. A strange event, wasn't it? Anyway, I just thought people might want to know how to build such a cell, uh, paranormal or otherwise. So, the basis of it all is, I created a sheet of graphite, this is 275 mesh, sprinkled some on and I use this uh, ShamWow type of thing from the dollar store about half an hour to spread it around the paper as thin as I could and I've been using small pieces from it uh, to make some cells so we'll use that as the positive and I'll just take some of that off for the negative we use regular aluminium foil and as a separator just a piece of a coffee filter. So I'll just go and get the foil and I'll cut up the coffee filter. Well I've just reviewed the footage and it is a bit strange isn't it? I can do this and waft my hand all over and bang on the surface here. That battery's going nowhere. So welcome to an episode of how to make a paranormal battery. <coughs> There's just no way that's going anywhere. Alright, well, here's how to make one. So, to take the cornstarch, I'll put the same amount of this oops, in there, a bit less than that. Same amount of cornstarch as salt. Try not to make the same kind of a mess that I'm making. There we are, same amount. A few drops of water. and mix it up with something I made a bit of a mess there but never mind okay mix it up only a two minute process um, after having made the graphite sheet I'll give that a good mix up like this you don't want it to be the same kind of thickness as say Uzak um, because I'm going to be soaking the coffee filter in it alright so that'll do for that and Take the coffee filter, wet both sides. Just simply like that. And place it on the aluminium and then turn this part, this is the graphite, over the other way so that that side is actually down onto the surface. Then what I do is I'll turn this one over so we've got a good surface to connect to and turn the other one over for the same reason and there we are that's the cell made you can put any extra over to one side there we are so let's get a voltage reading it seems to be in shot and it would help if it wasn't on microamps. <laughs> Five points there if you spotted it before I did. Okay, and so we've got 1.1, one, well, 1.75 it started at, but 1.1 volts. And for the microamp scale, we should see a couple of hundred. And we've got, well, we've got 60 on this one. A little lower than normal, but I did. Uh, quickly mix all that stuff up. So now the thing is, will it run an oscillator? Well we might as well use Mr. Paranormal over here. We'll use his oscillator and we'll find out. Well, the answer is yes. So in a similar way if I was to put the battery on the top then that should flash 
camera a bit. That should flash now for I don't know how long because that other one's been going for a week and a half and seems to be going nowhere. It seems to accept the moisture, do a bit of a dehumidifying of the air, uh, accepts the moisture and carries on going. So this one will be expected to be the same and I don't know how long this one would last either. Anyway, I hope that was useful to people and good luck with it and thanks for watching. the moisture from the air